Oh, hell of bid, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. And today I am back with a very special video. I did this video series last year, I continued it on this year, and I figured, boom, the end of the year is near, and we need to go ahead and drop this video. So I did this video last year around the same time, and the video that I'm talking about is my top 10 fragrance pickups of 2018. Now I did the mid-year video where I named my top five pickups so far, and now I have my top 10 fragrance pickups of 2018. Now I know 2018 isn't over and I have more fragrances coming in like I personally know I have more fragrances coming in and there are some that are dropping that I'm looking to get my hands on and who knows I might even get some for the holidays but nonetheless it's been a year since I dropped this video so I need to do it again. Now I must say, it was quite difficult to narrow down these fragrances of the best. Like what was the best of the best so far for me of 2018? And there was a few ways that I went about it, right? So I went through it like, hey, certain fragrances mean certain things to me for certain reasons. And uh, here we are. So I did a video last year of the top five fragrances that I wanted to pick up in the winter of 2017. And I picked up four out of those five fragrances and some of them have made this list so they may be familiar. Now I think we've talked about most of these fragrances that you'll see today, but some of them we haven't, but we will. So without any further ado, let's hop into the list and there's not one through 10. I didn't order it that way, I just have 10 for you. So the first fragrance I wanna to talk to you guys about today comes from the house of Killian, and this one is Killian's Sacred Wood. Now this one is a discontinued fragrance and it was one that I needed to get my hands on. I knew about this fragrance for a while and I was like, oh man, I like it, I like it, I like it. And then I heard that it was going away and I'm like, oh, well, I gotta buy it. This one is a super solid fragrance and I'm never sure why they discontinue fragrances like this. I'm not sure if there was the ingredients or they're just looking to build hype on it, but it was one that I needed to do to the point where I actually purchased two of these. I purchased this one and a the smaller one, right? And I figured that I might give that one away, so stay tuned. Next fragrance I wanna talk to you guys about today is one of my top pickups for 2018 comes from Bond and this one was on my list of top five fragrances that I wanted to pick up for the winter of 2017 and this one is Bond's number nine's Dubai Gold. I did not do a full review of this one yet but I like this one. This one's kind of like bubbly, you got this soda type of vibe. I believe there's some oud in here as well and I think it's a dope fragrance. They just recently released like the Bond number no. nine Dubai Platinum. I'm not a huge fan of that one. That one has incense, etc. And when you're spending these very expensive uh, price points on these fragrances, then you wanna make sure it's something you love. Like this one here is $550 retail. And I think the other one may be a bit more just because they can do that. And the prices increased on Bond this year. So, I mean, if you're looking for a fragrance and you don't care to spend the money, like you don't really worry about like, hey, where this money is coming from, that you might wanna try this one. Go get your nose on it. It doesn't have the best longevity, but I like it. So if you're in a sack somewhere, go ahead, try it. Tell them I told you to try it out. The next fragrance on the list today is kinda sorta one that I talked about for top five fragrances that I wanted to pick up in 2017 or the winter of 2017 as well. And this one comes from Tom Ford. The one that I spoke of was Tom Ford Ombre Leather 2016. That one was soon discontinued Actually, it might have been discontinued when I actually did the video. And I was going to purchase it. Max Forte hit me up. I was like, hey, he has it. Well, actually, I hit him up. He did a video. I hit him up. So that's why he had it. But I heard that this one was coming out. And I did not want to pay the resale prices. Not that he was charging me like crazy amounts. But, but I did not want to pay resale prices on it when I could get it for retail. At least very close to it. So the 2018 edition Ombre Leather. I think this one was like 175 or something like that. And to me, it's pretty close to the 2016 edition. I mean, 20 with the private blends, they're using, you know, higher perfume oils, but I like this one. I don't think a non-fragrance connoisseur is going to be able to tell the difference between this. Actually, I'm not sure that most people will be able to tell you the difference between this because I certainly would not be able to. I could tell you that it's ombre leather and that's really about it. So this one is a nice fragrance. I like the packaging. I like everything that they did with this one. And um, I think that this one could have remained on the private blend side of the house and, you know, still did just well at those prices points there but at the 175 price point I think that you know you're really getting a great fragrance for the price especially when you know what these fragrances 
releases have gone for in the past so I'm happy to have this one in the collection and now I'm in the perfect time of season to wear this one. The fourth fragrance that I'm going to talk to you guys about today was really an unexpected gem. I did not know that this one was going to be as good as it actually turned out to be um, and I really have to relate this back to Carlos man BFL I want to thank him for this one he didn't actually give me the bottle but he decided for me to come with him down to a meet and greet that he was doing at uh, Osmo Perfumery down in Miami and I came along with him as part of that um, we linked up with Initio Parfums and um, I got this one here which was Rehab. I enjoy this one I wear this one I mean I probably put a little dent in this one now by now I wear it my son wears it I get a lot of compliments on this one and I traditionally I'm, I, there's been times that I've worn this and not gotten compliments but traditionally the compliments come with this one to me this one is like a higher end spice bomb I like it this is all natural ingredients so if you're worried about stuff like that then this is a house that you can visit because they use all natural ingredients in all their products and sometimes when you get those fragrance houses they use natural ingredients I mean a lot of times it smells like shit I'm just being honest with you right um, but this one here solid and a lot of the fragrances that I've gotten from that line dope so I appreciate it man shout out to Carlos BFL shout out to James over at Nishio Parfums all right so we're midway through the list in the number five position I know a lot of you knew this was coming so let me get this one out the way this one comes from Paco Rabanne and this one is one million lucky look man I've put a dent in this one like so far I like this one the plum hazelnut really solid release from the house if you ask me and it was really refreshing I think this one is different than a lot of the fragrances that we've been getting today at least from this house man and um, I enjoy it like a lot I've made this one in many lists and then obviously it's in a list right now right and who knows it may make my winter list who knows but to me this one is one of the best pickups for me um, for 2018 I enjoy this one a lot and um, I look forward to having more time with this one this next fragrance is a newer addition to the collection and probably the newest out of these 10 that I'm talking to you guys about today this one also comes from Killian and this one is Killian straight to heaven extreme now I really struggled about which Killian that I was gonna put in here because I picked up a few Killians this year and it was really between this one and love the way you taste which is the Miami Vice collection that's like the very uh, mojito type bubbly bright vibrant one that I can wear more here but it doesn't last as long this one here is one that I can wear to the office especially when it's cooler and this is like an upscale type of fragrance and I think this one's a great one to have in the collection and obviously I have like this this thing about Killian right I like Killian it's one of my favorites and I figured since I did not like the traditional straight to heaven I'm not like a big fan of that one I did like this one and I wanted people to know that so I talked to people about like yeah I do like it but um to me so far like I'm looking for a nice classy one this is one that I can reach for so straight to heaven extreme 2018 release as well and also one of the best pickups for 2018 for me and also just a point to remember as we go through this list right so as the pickups that's exactly what I mean like fragrances that I picked up this year that I like the most that doesn't mean that they had to drop in 2018 it just means that I physically had to acquire that fragrance in 2018 so next up this one is a 2018 release but this one is a twist on a fragrance that has been discontinued for quite some time now and this one comes from Parfum Vintage and this one is Intrigo Devastante Intense look I enjoy this fragrance this one is like reminds me of my childhood right there's a lot of nostalgia with this one here um i wore doshi and gabana by man a lot as a kid and i said as a kid like in high school right like like ninth grade or so like that was my go-to i would pull that out with some peach papaya lotion from bath and body works and boom compliments galore i was the man i'm not sure why that combination worked uh, but my cousin had some lotion one time i put it on bow spray myself and from there it always worked so solid one man i do not have the original dosha and gabbana by man and i'm not sure that it would be 100 percent good at this point depending on how people stored it so this is the closest thing that i can get to that and i enjoy it i was excited when i heard this one was coming out once i received it i was even more excited and i've been wearing this one man i, I enjoy it i like it i'm proud to have this one in collection this is one that i would re-up on if i ever went 
Like if I got low on this one, I'm definitely rearing up on it. Who knows, I might do it now though, because you never know with these indie companies, how long that one, they'll be around, and two, how long they were gonna continue making these fragrances. They're not like big fragrance companies and don't have a bunch of them out there and about. So who knows, I might come back and grab that. This next fragrance is one that I enjoy. You probably already know it's here on the list because I've said it before that this is definitely one that I'm going to put on the list. This one made the mid-year list of the top five fragrances that I picked up so far in 2018 and this is on my list today. And this one comes from Chanel. This is Blue Day Chanel Parfum. Now, not only do I enjoy this fragrance, but I've had a lot of people hit me up and say they like this fragrance. And in person, people have told me that this is the best fragrance they have ever smelled. And really, I don't think I've gotten that on a lot of other fragrances out there. So they are doing really well. Chanel, solid release from the company here. A little more expensive than you can come to, you know, think you're gonna spend on one of these fragrances. But the Parfum concentration, man, I enjoy it. I was a little disappointed because it took me a while to get it in comparison to everyone else out there in the fragrance community, but I do have it now. I mean, I've had it for some time now. Like I did, I wasn't the first one with a review on it, but um, nonetheless, man, this is a solid fragrance. Great release from the house and one that I can wear at any time. Like if I did not have all of these fragrances and I just had one, this is really one of the two fragrances that I'm talking to you guys about today that can be worn at any time. The other ones are pretty much certain occasions that we can rock these. Um, but that one is one that I can wear any time of year as Blue Day Chanel Parfum. So we got two fragrances left and this fragrance here, people, a lot of you have told me that you're tired of hearing me talk about it, but <clears throat> I like it. Um, this one comes from Byron Parfums and this one is Moolah Moolah. Now listen, I, I'll tell you, I was very skeptical when I received this one. When he first reached out to me, he said that someone referred him to me like as someone who may take the fragrance and, and talk about it. So I got it in the mail um, and I'm, not, I'm just gonna be honest, man. I was like, eh, I'm not sure how this one's gonna be, but when I smelled it, mm -hmm. yeah. This is dope. I like it. Cotton candy type of vibe to it. So many notes in this one, man. I enjoy it. It gets compliments. The only criticism that it's that I've heard from people with this one is that can lean feminine, but I don't think so. I think this is, is a nice um, fragrance. I like it. One that I'm happy to have in the collection. And obviously it's one of the top pickups for me for 2018. Um, I enjoy it. It's dope. It's made a few of my list this year. And you know, I think for a fragrance company to come out the gate like this, you know, it got a bright future ahead of them. So excited to see what he drops in 2019, but this was a 2018 release and one that I was excited to pick up in 2018. It's one of the top 10 pickups for me for 2018. So all in all this year, out of all of the fragrances that I've picked up and decided to keep, um, these are the top 10, man. This is like the top 10%. I picked up and kept 104 fragrances this year. All right, so I, I was either sent more, got rid of some, gave some to friends, um, etc. Sold some to friends, but out of the ones that I decided to keep, I kept 104 from this year, and these are the top 10. And the last one that I want to talk to you guys about today is a newer addition to the collection as well, but the scent in itself had me like, yeah. This one's from Parfum du Mali, and this one is Go Dolphin. So I've always wanted this fragrance. Like I saw it, and I'm like, oh, Go Bottle, I gotta have it. And Actually, I wish that my Millicent Imperial was in the gold bottle, but I just really couldn't see myself paying the additional money for the gold bottle for the exact same scent. It's like the Green Irish Tweed. When they, they dropped the Green Irish Tweed this year, 2018, it was like $1,000 for the bottle. It's the same exact fragrance that you would get for the $400, but the bottle was different. It was, it was closer to a thousand bucks. I want to say it was like eight, 900 bucks, right? But nonetheless, you get where I'm going with it. I didn't see the point of spending additional money for it. So I like this one. This one is a winter based fragrance for me. And honestly, I was trying to decide between this one and La Yuquan Po Om. That one was given to me by a subscriber. Um, I met him down in Miami and he's like, hey man, I got a fragrance that you would like. He sent it to me, I enjoyed it. I enjoy this one as well. They're pretty close to each other, pretty similar, but um, this one took the cake just a tad bit for me. So maybe, maybe it was the bottle. <laughs> I'm not really, really not sure. But at the end of the day, these are the 10 fragrances that stood out to me the most this year that um, I've added to my collection for one reason or another. Now I've added a lot of fragrances to the collection, like 104 fragrances that I added to the collection. Some of you may love some of the other ones more, right? So I'm like, cool, Marin Tonka might be better for you. You might prefer Icon Racing or anything any of the others that I added to the collection this year, but those are the top 10 for me. Um, what 
are the top 10 fragrances that you added to your collection this year if you if you added 10 if you didn't add 10 what is the top fragrances for you this year now listen there are other fragrances that i plan on picking up right so the versace the versace arrows flame um any other new designer releases that have coming out on the back end of the year i plan on picking those up but i wanted to get this video out because on november 22nd will be one year since i released this video and i feel like i don't get enough time at the end of the year to really like dig in and enjoy the fragrances that are sent to me because I have a lot of content that I need to pick out. So that's why I do these videos in November. So I appreciate you guys rocking with me, man. These are the top 10 pickups for me for 2018. Here's the 2019. I'm your boy, Big Beard B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. Do me a favor, man. Hit goddamn bell.